Hello, my name is Josh Mills, and I'll be reading The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. The Louvre Museum, Paris, 9, uh, 1046 p.m. Renowned curator Jacques Sonnieri staggered through the vaulted archway of the museum's grand gallery. He lunged for the nearest painting he could see, a Caravaggio. Grabbing the gilded frame, the 76-year-old man heaved the masterpiece towards himself until it tore from the wall and Sonnieri collapsed backward in a heap beneath the canvas. As he had anticipated, a thundering iron gate fell nearby, barricading the entrance to the suite. The parquet floor shook. Far off, an alarm began to ring. The curator lay a moment, gasping for breath, taking stock. I'm still alive. He crawled out from under the canvas and scanned the cavernous space for somewhere to hide. A voice spoke, chillingly close. Do not move. On his hands and knees, the curator froze, turning his head slowly. Only 15 feet away, outside the sealed gate, the mountainous silhouette of his attacker stared through the iron bars. He was broad and tall, with ghost pale skin and thinning white hair. His irises were pink, with dark red pupils. The albino drew a pistol from his coat and aimed the barrel through the bars, directly at the curator. You should not have run. His accent was not easy to place. Now tell me where it is. I told you already, the curator stammered, kneeling defenseless on the floor of the gallery. I have no idea what you're talking about. You are lying. The man stared at him, perfectly immobile, except for the glint in, the ghost, in his ghostly eyes. You and your brethren possess something that is not yours. The curator felt a surge of adrenaline. How could he possibly know this? Tonight, the rightful guardians will be restored. Tell me where it is hidden and you will live. The man leveled his gun at the curator's head. Is it a secret you will die for? Sonieri could not breathe. The man tilted his head, peering down the barrel of his gun. Sonieri held up his hands in defense. Wait, he said slowly. I will tell you what you need to know. The curator spoke his next words carefully. The lie he told was one he had rehearsed many times, each time praying he would never have to use it. When the curator had finished speaking, his assailant smiled smugly. Yes, this is exactly what the others told me. Sonieri recoiled. The others? I found them too, the huge man taunted. All three of them. They confirmed what you have just said. It cannot be the curator's true identity, along with the identity of his free Sonny Schwa, was almost as sacred as the ancient secret they protected. Sonieri now realised his Sonny Schwa following strict procedure, had told the same lie before their own deaths. It was part of the protocol. The attacker aimed his gun again. When you are gone, I will be the only one who knows the truth. The truth. In an instant, the curator grasped the true horror of the situation. If I die, the truth will be lost forever. Instinctively, he tried to scramble for cover. The gun roared, and the curator felt a searing heat as the bullet lodged into his stomach. He fell forward, struggling against the pain. Slowly, Sonieri rolled over and stared back through the bars at his attacker. The man was now taking dead aim at Sonieri's head. Sonieri closed his eyes, his thoughts a swirling tempest of fear and regret. The click of an empty chamber echoed through the corridor. The curator's eyes flew open. The, man's gla the man glanced down at his weapon, looking almost amused. He reached for a second clip, but then seemed to be reconsidering, smirkly, uh, smirking calmly at Sonieri's gut. My work here is done. The curator looked down and saw the bullet hole in his white linen shirt. It was framed by a small circle of blood a few inches below his breastbone. My stomach. Almost cruelly, the bullet had missed the, his heart. As a veteran of La Guerra de Algeri, the curator had witnessed this horribly drawn out death before. For 15 minutes, he would survive as his stomach acid seeped into his chest cavity, cavity, slowly poisoning him from within. Pain is good, monsieur, the man said. Then he was gone. Alone now, Jacques Sonieri turned his gaze again to the iron gate. He was trapped and the doors could not be reopened for at least 20 minutes. By the time anyone got to him, he would be dead.
Even so, the fear that now gripped him was far, far greater than that of his own death. I must pass on the secret. Staggering to his feet, he pictured his free murdered brethren. He thought of the generations who had come before them, of the mission of, of which they had all been entrusted, an unbroken chain of knowledge. Suddenly, now, despite all the precautions, despite all the fail-safes, Jacques Sonnieri was the only remaining link, the sole guardian of one of the most powerful secrets ever kept. Shivering, he pulled himself to his feet. I must, I must find some way. He was trapped inside the grand gallery, and there existing only one person on earth to whom he could pass the torch. Sonnieri gazed about the walls of his opulent prison. A collection of the world's most famous paintings seemed to smile down on him like an old friend, like old friends. Wincing in pain, he summoned all of his faculties and strength. The desperate task before him, he knew, would require every remaining second of his life. 